interesting. Not necessarily interesting in a good way, but still interesting, I suppose. Not quite as scary as I remembered you being, but it has been a very, very long time, hasn't it? Mm. Oh, <laughs> hello. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't notice that you were starting to wake up. I was quite close to you, wasn't I? I apologise. I was just trying to get a bit of a closer look at you while you were sleeping there. <laughs> How very rude of me. I apologise. Welcome to the Fae Palace. Well, one of the Fae Palaces. There are lots of different palaces and quite fascinating enchanting places within the Fey realm. This is one of them. See, you were brought to me by another Fey. Quite curious. <laughs> she says that she found you just lost in the woods and that you claim to be a human. Of course, she says that that's ridiculous because humans are not real. Unfortunately, I know better. You see, that Faye was rather young, as far as Faye go. She doesn't remember the time when Faye and humans lived together. All she knows is this place that we created in order to escape from humans. You are a human, aren't you? <sighs> I thought so. Although, I have to admit, you're not quite as scary as I remember. You don't have any fangs, really. I mean, these teeth over here are a bit pointier, I suppose. Maybe you've evolved a bit beyond the need for things like that. Interesting. Well, no matter. Um, <laughs> as I'm sure you understand, I can't have a human in the Fey realm, and I'm sure that you are just as eager to get home. Can you tell me, please, how did you end up in this realm in the first place? You don't know? Well, that's not very good. <laughs> um, it's a bit concerning. You see, we created the Fey Realm so that we would have a place to be ourselves without being preyed upon by greedy humans. And for a while we did have fairy gates. Perhaps you've heard them called. Maybe fairy rings. It goes by any any number of names in your mortal realm. We coexisted for a little while. There were some fae who chose to stay in the mortal realm, others who left, some who crossed between the realms for a while. But then, just like almost everything good, one or two bad humans had to go and ruin it for everyone else. It was probably quite a long time ago, in your human years, that we had to lock the doors, basically. Shut down the portals and ensure that no one like you could ever get here again. So you being here means Either we missed one of those portals, or perhaps there's something much more sinister going on. You don't look all that sinister, though, to me. You don't know magic, do you? The, the fae who brought you in, she said that you had no magical abilities whatsoever. Yes, most of humans don't. Hmm. Interesting. I'll have to ponder that, discuss it with my other fey elders, but for now, what do you say that we get you home? Yes, I'm sure that you are 
quite eager to get back to wherever it is that you are. A moment. It shouldn't take but a moment, really. You see, even though we shut down the portals, there are other ways, if you are very well versed in magic, as I am. I've been doing it for a very, very long time. How long? Mm. Well, you see, we fay. We think of time a bit differently than you mortals. You tend to think of it as very linear, very flat. But in reality, it's really a bit more wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey sort of thing. Let's see, an equivalent of your time would be oh, at least a few millennia. It's been a very I've been doing magic. So, without further ado, what do you say that we send you back from whence you came? Yes. Excellent, excellent. Why don't you just take a deep breath with me, all right? Breathe in. And out. Good. Once more. Breathe in. And out. Wonderful. Now, let's send you back to your realm, shall we? It will only take but a moment. You may hear some sounds. Don't worry about it, it's all just part of the process. But it will only be momentary. And then, you should be right back home where you are. What are you still doing here? It didn't work. What do you mean it didn't work? This is working just fine. I, as I said, I've been doing magic for a very, very, very long time. It should have worked. Why did it not work on you? Why are you still in this plane? Hmm. Maybe there's something wrong with you. Have you been put under any curses lately that you know of? Any witches, or demons, or evil spirits, or anything like that? Hmm. Well, in order to figure out why it didn't work, I'm going to have to take a bit of a closer look at you, alright? No, 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 not just looking at you with my eyes, but actually examining your energy. You see, it's a bit all jumbled up, really, so I'm just going to need to use a few tools of mine to get a good sense of what your energy is like. Maybe that will tell us why this didn't work, okay? Yes. Hopefully we can get to the bottom of this quickly. <laughs> just, you wait right there. No need to do anything. I will take care of everything. There we are. I want you to look into this. Just look into this orb right here. Don't worry about anything else. Just look into my orb here. Ponder the orb, if you will. Yes. Alright, now I want you to look at this little blue crystal there, okay? And just follow that around as I move it around. Just follow that blue crystal. Don't worry about anything else. I know this probably seems a bit strange to someone who is not familiar with magic, but believe me, this is going to help me determine what might be wrong with your aura. Just keep focusing right here on that blue crystal. Don't get distracted by anything else, just focus on that crystal. Hmm. Alright, just focus right there. It's not going to move, but I just need you to ignore everything else. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to move it over here. 
again, don't worry about anything else. Interesting. Well, I can tell you one thing. Your energy is quite heavy. You know, negative energies, they're typically much more heavy than lighter energies. Things like joy, and fun, happiness, peace, things like that tend to be very light on the soul. Whereas feelings like anger, jealousy, fear, nervousness, stress, those tend to weigh the soul down. So, it seems as though you have quite a lot of those negative energies that are weighing you down, and your soul couldn't fly up to the other realm, I suppose. It's a very, very simple way of explaining it. Does that make sense? Okay. Yes, we're going to need to figure out how to fix that, aren't we? Okay. Well, let's see. Let's start with this one. This is a little brush. It's a bit of a ceremonial brush. These are twigs from a very, very ancient fey tree, laced with the magic of the fey. So I'm just going to take this. I won't actually touch you physically, but this is going to just brush away at your energy a bit, okay? And we'll see if we can some of that negative energy in the twigs here and get rid of it, okay? Okay, so just hold nice and still. You don't have to do anything. You can close your eyes if you would like, but you don't have to. I'm just going to you've got all around you, isn't it? Like I said, I'm not actually going to touch you with the broom. Just your energy. But it seems very... very persistent. Quite happy to cling to you. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean interesting in a good way. Interesting Now that's not really doing anything, is it? Interesting. Okay, we'll try something else. We'll try something else. That's fine. Let's see. This one, perhaps. Hmm, maybe this one. Which one of these is calling to you more? They're both different kinds of mushrooms found only in the Feywild, so I know that you don't necessarily know what they are or what they do, but is one of these seeming a bit more like it wants to help you? What do you mean your plants don't talk to you? Uh, I forgot about that. It's been very, very, very long since I've been to the mortal realm. Hmm. Let's start with this one. Seeing as it's not speaking to you, I'll just have to rely on what it's saying to me. Okay, now, I want you to just focus on this little mushroom, okay? Got this lovely little cap, the little white spots, and then the orange stalk. Don't worry about what it does. I won't bother explaining it to you because you don't know magic anyway, but I want you to just pick one of these little white spots that you see on the mushroom, okay? Just pick one of those little spots and focus on it. And I'm going to move it around a bit, okay? Just focus on that spot that 
you picked as the mushroom moves around closer and farther away closer and farther away good good well done well done well done did that seem like it helped at all I thought you said you were going to help well, I don't know it's been a very long time since I've tried to heal human energy all right the attitude is not hmm you want to go? All right, fine. Maybe we'll try it instead. Mm, or maybe you. Let's see. Okay, now I know that you can't actually hear them talking, but I just want you to pick one, okay? <laughs> We've got this little mushroom here, and this little sort of squiggly mushroom here, okay? I'm going to hold them both up, but I want you to just pick one of them. Either one. Whichever one you want, I guess. If you feel like one is calling to you more than the other, then by all means follow that one, but otherwise just whichever one you prefer, really. Okay, and I'm going to start moving them around and I want you to focus. Focus very, very hard. Just focus on the mushroom that you picked, right? Don't get distracted by the other mushroom or by anything else. Just follow the one that you chose. Are you ready? Just follow the mushroom. Follow the little mushroom. It might leave your field of vision for just a moment. That's okay. It's alright. Just follow whichever mushroom it is that you chose. Hmm. Maybe it's the other one. Okay, so. When I say, not yet, but when I say, I want you to stop focusing on the one that you chose initially and start watching the other one, okay? Maybe you just picked the wrong one. So, when I say, switch from one to focusing on the other one. Ready? Switch. Now follow the second mushroom. The one that you rejected the first time. No, not rejected. Just your second choice out of two. Just focus on that mushroom. Don't get distracted. Don't look away. Just focus, focus, focus. That doesn't really seem to be doing it either, does it? Hmm. Okay, no, no, that's not working. Why don't you, when I say, switch back to the original one you were watching, okay? Switch. Now just focus on that other one. Don't worry about what the other mushroom is doing. Just focus on the one you originally chose. Hmm. Well, that seems to have perhaps loosened some of that negativity a bit. Not really, though. Mm. I don't know, it's alright. You gave it your best shot. It's okay, darling. Maybe next time. Let's... Oh, you want to have a go? Are you sure? Do you know what this is? No. Mm. How about this one? Do you know who this is? Mm. No, I don't think that's going to help. But the other two didn't help, and I'm not sure why. Hmm. I need to do a scan of you first, okay? I think that would help a bit more. Here. Hold this for me. It's just a plan, don't worry about it. Just hold that, yes, hold that right in your hands, okay? You can, you know, sort of play with the leaves if you want. Just like that. Okay, good, good, good. Don't let go of that. I'm just going to... Here we are. Let's try this. Got a crystal here. This is actually one that I believe you have in the human realm. We have quite a few that you don't have, of course, but this one is blue sandstone. Or sometimes called blue goldstone. It's a lovely crystal. 
crystal. It always reminds me of the night sky. Though maybe not a night sky that you've seen in the human realm. You lot have polluted your skies too much for them to look like this anymore, unfortunately. But it's what they used to look like. So I'm just going to use this crystal. I'm going to just pass it over your aura, okay? And sort of scan you. See what this will tell me about you, alright? Okay, so you don't have to do anything, just hold nice and still for me. Just going to scan, scan. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay, all right, I'm getting a bit of a sense. It's very clingy, this negativity. It's quite insistent on causing you unhappiness. It's quite unfortunate. It's possible that this energy has been carried around for a very, very long time and it doesn't even remember what to do without you. Have you been feeling low lately? Like for a while? Hmm. The human world must still be quite a mess then. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. I'm going to take this crystal now. And I'm actually going to use it and just sort of focus it in a few spots on your aura. Basically, I'm going to be trying to loosen that hold of the energy because right now it's very clingy to you. So I'm just going to come in and try to get into some of those little cracks. Get into some of those little cracks and try to convince it to loosen its grip just a bit. And then we should be able to actually Hopefully, at least a little bit. At least enough so that your soul can lift off and go back to your realm, okay? Okay, so again, you don't have to do anything. If you would like to maybe take some deep breaths, that might help. Breathe in. So I think that helped a bit. Okay, let's try another little spot. And breathe in. And out. Good, good. The energy is remembering that there's more than just you in the world. Breathe in. And out. Somewhere. I've got some more work to do, but it's a start at least. Okay, and breathe in. And breathe out. Good, good, good. Breathe in. We should have it loosened up a bit, okay? Let's see. Breathe in. And out. Excellent. And then one right above your third eye, okay? Breathe in. Beginning to 
see a separation between the negative energy and your actual aura. That's very, very good. Sometimes negative energy can be a bit sticky, mucky, goopy. Not very pleasant, but we have ways that we can fix that a bit. So, hopefully now we'll be able to actually remove some of it, okay? And we put this crystal away. Let's see, let's see. Oh, yes, you don't need to hold this anymore. Thank you. Oh, this is just, it's a plant that helps to sort of open you up to receiving energy and healing and things like that, yes. It's quite lovely. It's one that, honestly, you humans should really have. I think there are quite a few people who may benefit from it. Unfortunately, it's, um, it's a bit delicate. And after what you all have done to your world, I don't think it would survive, unfortunately. It's a bit pleasant. Hmm. I think that we can start trying to pluck away some of this negativity, okay? So for this part, I'm just going to take my hands. It's nothing, I don't need any sort of tools for this part. Hopefully. If there's some stubborn energy, we can certainly use some tools as well, okay? And I'm going to start with this little jar here. Now this jar is made with a very special set. It's made from a sand that comes from the Fey Desert. And this sand is known for basically cancelling out any sort of energy. Any sort of energy whatsoever. So, I'm going to pluck away the negativity and I'm going to put it right into this jar. And when it goes into this jar, it will be neutralised. And it will never bother anyone ever again. Okay? Yes, it's quite a nifty little jar. Excellent for energy healing. So that we don't have to worry about that negativity you're trying to cling to anyone else like it's been clinging to you. Okay. So, just hold nice and still. You can think pleasant thoughts if you would like to. You can continue breathing deeply if you would like to. Just... Don't resist the energy healing, I suppose. Otherwise, I can give you the plant back if you would like. Okay, well, if you change your mind, it's still over there. Just going to start. So. There we are. Hmm. There we go, right in the jar. Pluck and in. Definitely quite stubborn. I'm getting some of the more surfacey energy. But there's definitely more in there. Hmm. Alright, take a little break. Why don't you just take a deep breath? And breathe out. Energy healing can be a bit taxing on the soul, but in the long run it will be okay. Alright? going to need something a bit stronger. Yes. But first, 
Okay, this not might not make entirely sense to you, but just trust me on this, okay? I'm going to try to put the negative energy to sleep. <laughs> or at least make it very relaxed. See, right now it's realising that I'm trying to get rid of it, and so it's clinging a bit more, even after we loosened it. So, I'm going to try to lull it into a very peaceful state, hopefully asleep. And then, with the claws, we should be able to pluck it out, okay? No, 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 no. They're not really claws, though. Don't worry about it. I won't actually be touching you. But first, we need to put the energy at ease a bit, okay? Do you know what this is? You have these in the human realm, right? That's right. An Avalon shell. Full of the power of the ocean. Very soothing, very healing, very meditative, right? So, you can listen to if you would like. It may help to calm you a bit, but I'm just going to send out some rhythmic, gentle sounds that will hopefully help to ease that negative energy. Okay. Okay. you enjoyed that sound as well. It's quite gentle, but it's one of my very favourite methods to relax anxious energy. The energy that causes anxiety and when Hold on to this, okay? You have these in the mortal in the mortal world, right? Good, good. I'm glad that you still have a little bit of magic there. Yes, it's a pine car. Quite a magical gift from the forest, don't you think? What do you mean pine cones aren't magical? I you, you can look at this item here and not see magic. I mean, just look at the the beautiful design, the, the concentric circles, the fact that it closes up when it's wet and it's not a good time to release the seeds, and then opens up when it is time. It carries in it 
dozens of little trees just waiting to be born. And that's not magical. You humans. <sighs> well, in this realm, they are sacred and very, very magical. So, hold on to this, okay? And if you can muster Think about the inherent magic of nature. Okay? Alright, just a moment. I need the claws. It's time for the claws. There we are. Alright. Have you ever seen something like this before? These are silver claws, purified to where there is no imperfections in them, sculpted into a beautiful design, and then of course imbued with magic too. So these are going to help us get rid of the rest of that energy that seems to be so insistent on clinging to you, okay? So I've got my jar again. My lovely little jar. It will help to cancel out that negative energy. Now I'm just going to mm, pluck. There we are. Perfect. Much better. Pluck. Just make sure it all goes into the jar. Neutralizing all of this negative energy from you. You've got quite a lot. Hmm. It's like you humans don't care about what sort of energy you have at all. There we go. is helping you feel a bit lighter too. Good. And hopefully we'll be able to get your spirit light enough that we'll be able to transport you. Okay, excellent. There we are. Hopefully there's still hope for you. It's not like we just left because we liked it, <laughs> but hopefully there will be enough humans who see the damage that you've done. Enough humans who care that it's not irreparable damage. It costs a lot to care. It does, I understand. You can't always care about everything. Especially when there's so much wrong in the human realm. So much luck that you could care about, that you could be outraged about. Look. My advice is to start with one thing. Start with something. An injustice. A wrong. Something that you know could be better care about it. Care about it enough to do something. Advocate for the ones that are hurting. 
listen to the ones that are not listened to. Fix what has been broken. Preserve what still is beautiful. Build what can be built in a way that is helpful to everyone. And maybe you can pick another thing. Care about that too. Everyone needs to care about something. And if everyone cares enough, that's when things get better. So, just don't turn a blind eye. Promise me you will try to care. Yes? And hopefully there won't be so much negativity weighing you down all the time. You can't fix the entire world by yourself, that's for certain. But it's got to start somewhere. Maybe your caring will inspire other people to care too. been neutralizing the energy. I think that it would have been overflowing by now. But luckily, it's all gone. I hope that you're feeling better. Good, good. It's lovely to actually see your aura now too. <laughs> Not just all the mucky, the bad that was clinging to you. Now I can actually see your aura for what it is. It's quite lovely. Yes, I think that is good. Alright, let me take these off then, shall I? Okay, excellent. I think then we are ready to send you back. Yes, I think it'll work. However, there was actually something that I forgot to do last time, okay? And I'm, I'm afraid that I really must insist that we do this. I need to wipe your memory of this place. I know, I know, you've seen some fascinating, wonderful things, but I can't have you going back to the mortal realm and telling people that the Fey realm exists, and then some human will try to find it, and then, like I said, they're going to ruin it for everyone again. I need to protect my people. I hope you understand. Okay, okay, that's that's a good point. Maybe you've learned things while you were here. Learned things about yourself, about caring. Okay, okay, sure, 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 here. I'm going to give you a gift. This, you see this? It's a little crystal flower. This will help you remember the lessons that you've learned here without necessarily remembering the place. So you'll forget about me, you'll forget about the other little fae that you met, you'll forget about everything here, you'll forget about magic, but hopefully you will remember the lessons about caring, about inspiring people to do better. Okay? Yeah, let me just enchant this very quickly. We'll just make sure that those lessons stick, shall we? There. 
Now, the lessons will stay with you. So, you take that, just put it in your pocket, and when you find it in your pocket later, you might not remember where it came from exactly, but it will help you remember the values, the lessons that you learned along the way. Okay? Okay. But I really must insist that we do wipe your memory of this place. Thank you. Okay. Alright. Now this is a very special hourglass. It's not your average hourglass. I want you to just watch it. You don't have to focus on it too strongly. It will do its magic whether you watch it or not. That way I know that you can't just spell and then remember what I don't want you to remember. Just watch it if you would like. So it turns back and forth. As I said before, time is not quite a straight line, as you mortals would maybe believe. So, it's possible to take away some of that time without actually changing you, but just erasing the memory of that time. As I said, it is quite a magical And now, I really must insist that you return to your realm. I'm sure that you have people who are missing you. You see, because time works a bit differently here, it may have been a very long time since you left. Unfortunately, I can't entirely control that. I will try to take you back to exactly when it was that you left, okay? If you focus right before you were transported here, that will help, right? Hopefully I'll be able to put you right back where you should be and when you should be. That's the trickier part. But don't worry, as I said, I am quite good at magic, so if anyone can do it, it's me. Alright, now you focus. Focus on your home. Focus on where you were before you came to this place. Take a deep breath. Breathe out. There. Okay, now I think it's going to take. Well, I suppose I should thank you a bit. You've reminded me that not all humans are bad. I don't think it will be you. Anytime soon that we will be returning to the mortal realm, but at least it's nice to know that there are those that are willing to care. Well, I wish you well. I wish you a life of light, energy, and care. Goodbye. Thank you.